Behind Closed Doors. Donna Ferrado, 1982. To publish this picture, Donna went to many editorial offices of magazines, but they all refused her. The topic of domestic violence was at that time the topic of behind closed doors. The violent scene that is clearly visible in this photo was not the subject of the photographer's shooting, but it became a symbol of what Donna decided later to fight and draw the attention of society to this problem. Donna Ferrato was born in the USA. After completing her studies at the Faculty of Fine Arts in Boston, she worked as a secretary, but four years later she enrolled in a photography and sociology course in San Francisco. In 1970s as a freelance she collaborated with Esquire, Newsweek and The New York Times. In 1979 she began photographing in sex clubs and nightclubs, documenting the heady nightclub culture at legendary establishments like Studio 54, Mud Club, Xenon, and Area. Once Japanese Playboy ordered her to photograph a prominent swinger couple known as Garth and Lisa. Ferrato immersed herself in Garth and Lisa's life, moving in with the couple at their Saddle River mansion. I was there for the orgies as well as the typical family moments, Ferrato said, as time passed, however, I began to realize that Garth was not the benign, devoted husband he had first appeared to be, and one night, I witnessed a horrific scene, Garth attacked Lisa and beat her mercilessly as she cowered in the master bathroom. Such acts of violence in the photograph were unfortunately not uncommon at this time, but many scenes like this usually took place in private. However, that night, whilst Garth beat his wife Lisa, Ferrata was in the room and she decided to capture the dreadful events because simply just witnessing them wasn't enough to expose such destructive violence that took place for many women each day. The photograph has quite a clear narrative as it expresses the story of a young woman getting hurt by the person who is supposed to protect her through no fault of her own. The setting of a bathroom shows that the events taking place are normally private and Ferrato is almost capturing a secret as we are normally in private at our most venerable whilst in the bathroom. However, Garth's failure to stop juxtaposes this idea because it suggests that men were shameless in abusing their wives, because Garth doesn't seem affected by the woman taking pictures in the background even though the sound of the shutter would have made it quite obvious. This suggests that Ferrato is not exposing a secret because it was probably just the norm back then. This does however expose the toxic mindset that certain men had and still do today because the fact that he thinks he is doing nothing wrong means that he has lack of respect care and has a poor understanding of right and wrong. Ferrato not only wanted to expose the abuse, but also the mindsets of men that thought they were doing nothing wrong. The way Garth's reflection is captured shows him in an inhuman way. His face is shrouded in darkness, and his expression is angry. As well as this, his body is close to the camera, and his presence seems almost overwhelming. This connotes his power over Lisa. The way Lisa's posture is stiff and her arms are slightly raised, like she is trying to defend herself, shows that she is in fear. She is unfortunately used to being abused because she doesn't appear shocked or surprised by her husband's actions, just fear because she knows what is going to happen. Lisa's face is covered in the photograph and the reflection in the mirror, which reflects how women of that time didn't have a voice. They were almost expected to just take it as some husbands thought they had a right to do whatever they wanted with their wives. Obviously, the photograph was not edited because it's meant to be very realistic to shock viewers. The grainy quality of photography represent the blur and unclearness surrounded by domestic abuse as so many people refused to talk about it and it wasn't acceptable to acknowledge in public places as many people just turned a blind eye. The fact this photograph is quite dark and taken in black and white conveys the negativity men projected towards their wives. The darkness itself connotes the pain and suffering that victims of domestic abuse go through and the blurred lights on the ceiling represent how hope and positivity can seem so hard to reach when you are in that position. The mirror in the photograph also plays an important part because it creates the effect of Lisa being surrounded. The position of Ferrato also makes her visible, but far away. This could represent how a victim of domestic abuse could feel like no one is going to help them or that help is too far away. Multiple reflections created by the mirror can connote how Lisa can feel surrounded like there is no escape from the violence. This can represent how others feel and shows us how powerless people can feel when being affected by domestic abuse. After filming this incident, 
Ferrato realized that she could not just be a witness to a family quarrel. This is more than a fight. This is violence. It needed to be made public. The photographer asked the magazine editors to publish her pictures, but they all refused. Then in 1991, she published a book called Living with the Enemy. These frames were included there. The book also contained other photographs of domestic violence scenes that Ferrato shot while living in women's shelters and watching the police. Her work has helped to highlight the massive problem of domestic violence against women across the country. The photographs forced politicians to address this issue, and in 1994 Congress passed the Violence Against Women Act. According to him, the punishment for such acts was tightened, and the police were instructed to treat such cases as a serious crime. In 1985, Ferrato received a grant from the Eugene Smith Foundation for her documentary work on domestic violence. She is the recipient of many other prestigious awards, including the Robert F. Kennedy for Humanistic Photography, Orders of Courage and Medals for Services to Journalism.